Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, registered dietitian. And I'm Manuel Marini, executive chef. So Chef Manny, we've made it to the eating season. You think we can get through this eating season and still stay healthy? Of course we can. That's what the show is all about, eating healthy, isn't it? It is. Changing the world Ch one bite at a time. That's it. Okay, well tell us what you're going to do. Okay, tonight. remember I told you I have the right recipe for this time of the year? Well, yep. guess what? We're bringing back the old citrus turkey. Oh, okay. Remember this that is the one we did on the show back in 2009. Was that? Was that wow. It, it was too, and, and in fact... People still remember, and they want me to bring it back and go over it, you know. And you know what? That turkey that you taught us how to do has become part of my thanksgiving tradition well i'm glad yeah i'm glad my so, daughter claire does it See? awesome <laughs> yeah, i mean that's the whole idea is just to bring in something different and yeah. keep on with it okay okay but there's no way you can top that turkey well how about instead of the traditional cranberry dressing and all that but okay. we'll do a blueberry relish it's a sedexa Ooh. recipe with okay. cutting edge which is unbelievable so we're going to do traditional but with something a little different that's awesome i love isn't it, it. And then, traditionally, you would do a stuffing or some rice pilaf yeah. or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. But we're going to do quinoa. Ooh. And I heard you talking about it, so okay. I said, you know, let me look into it and come up with something. When, and we're going to talk about quinoa. It's a, it's a new grain that's just starting to hit this country. So, okay, that's great. All, All right. right. So, let's get started with the bird. Okay, let's get that bird going. Let me get that bird going. Now, it is one big heavy bird. It is. I'm going to put him right here, all right, nicely thought out. Um, what I want to do is I got another pen right here. Okay. I'm going to put it here by you because it's going to be one of these processes that's going to be quick and easy, okay? Okay. Let me roll up my sleeves real quick. Nothing up your sleeves. Nothing up my sleeves. Okay. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of celery, carrots, and onions, okay? In the bottom of in the, the pan. In the bottom of the pan. And we did that, and people thought it was... It was great. Now, well, make sure you wash the celery yeah, really good, okay? Yeah, yeah. Now, there's two ways to do it. We can take the leaves out, you know, and then chop it up. But I'm going to leave the leaves, okay? Okay. Because it's all good and healthy. So okay. what I'm doing here is I'm just roughly chopping it, okay, Tim? Okay. And we're going to go, yeah. In the pan? Yeah, if you don't mind. We'll put it in the pan. Got that? Okay. You know, when you first told me about this, I thought, this doesn't make sense. Shouldn't this go inside the bird? But, but I understand after you... Yeah, carrots, make sure you wash them really good. Yeah. Let me cut these, and then we'll put them on there in just a minute. Okay. Pretty easy. Go ahead, Tim. Okay. I'll get the other one. Spread them out evenly if you can. Because what we're going to do is we're going to lay the bird on top of it. How's that? And, and notice how he's not cutting off both ends. You know how we Americans always want to cut off that stem end and the, and the pointed end of the carrot? But in this case, you're not going to eat these anyway. And so, uh, I mean, this is, tell us why you're putting this in the bottom of well, the pan. Well, I'm I'm I'll show you in just a little bit. We're, okay. we're going to use it for roasting. And that what's okay. going to happen is it's going to release its flavors. Yep. But the turkey is also going to sweat its flavor. So we're going to combine it together. Okay. And that's how we're going to make our, our dressing. Okay. I mean, our, our uh, Okay. Gravy for it. So now, the onions, here's two ways to doing it. One, we just take the top layer, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're just going to roughly chop it. Okay. Okay? We're going to put that. There you go, Tim. All right. And so you're, this one. so you're literally, you're creating flavor and moisture by adding vegetables underneath the turkey. Underneath the turkey. And, you know, on Memorial Cooking Innovations, one of the things we do is, is if we're reducing the amount of salt and fat that we use in cooking, we have to bring flavor back in to, to create a, an acceptable recipe. Okay, okay. so we got a so bed of is, vegetables. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to wear gloves, but always, always wash your hands. Okay. Every time handling bird yep. or any poultry, you got chances of salmonella. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do this real quick. Now, do you want a bowl for your, uh, you got to do this part first, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So, this is good, just like that, and we're going to lay it on top of that the okay. bird, okay? Okay. You got the oven on? Yep. All right. Yeah. He's on. Nice. He's okay, on. good. Yep. So here's our nice, this is a big bird, too, by the it way. Is. You see That's that, right. huh? Yeah. Well, we're going to have a nice little feast here, mm -hmm. aren't we? Okay, so I took all the cavity out of there, the yeah. neck and everything, all put it to the side, okay? Innards, yeah. Now, we can also put it in here and cook it with it because it also releases some flavors. Okay. Okay, here I have a couple of apples. All right. A couple of oranges. Yeah. Take that one for me, yeah. Yeah. Make sure you wash them really good. Yeah. 
I got a couple of lemons. I think this okay. one has one. This yeah. one's good? Okay. He's good. All right. Cut the ends off. Stand it up straight so... So you can cut him. So we can cut him. Notice how he always creates a flat surface. And that keeps the whatever you're cutting from rolling around on you. It's just a safe thing. And all and this is going to go in there, Tim. Yeah. Now, what this is, what this is going to do is going to release all that flavor and nutrition. Let me cut this. And then, mm -hmm. you know what? You can have it and go ahead and start stuffing it. I'm a, now, you want this to go in the yeah, bird? Okay. But you don't want these in there? No. Okay. And it doesn't hurt. We're going to put those on the... Okay. Nothing here goes to waste. And notice how we're leaving the peeling on the, the orange. You know, the peeling actually has a lot of flavor in it. In fact, you find recipes with the uh, zest of orange, which is the, the peeling of the orange. Exactly. Stuffing mm -hmm. really, really good. Yep. Yep. Ooh, this smells so good, that citrus. And you know, turkey is a mild, mildly flavored meat anyway. You, you, might want, yeah, and you might want to put some here on the oh, that's neck part too, okay? Yeah. You yeah. can put these few In pieces fact, left. In fact, do you mind if I go ahead and set him over here? Yeah, while would that be okay? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Beautiful, okay. I'll get this pan out of the way. Yep, yeah. and they're going to come your way. Okay, good. All right, so we want some Stuff on him. this yeah, side. Yeah, as much as you can. Yep. And you can wear gloves like, now Chef Manny, you're going to use, I know why you put your gloves on because you're going to show us here in a minute. But you don't have to wear gloves when you're doing this. You no, just, just make sure you wash your hands really yeah, good. That's right. You After always you always treat anything poultry as if it does have salmonella on it. And so uh, you want to watch what surfaces the raw bird touches, and you, and you clean and sanitize those surfaces. And I'm just going to take this skin. You probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm really just kind of folding it underneath uh, just to hold that fruit in as he bakes. Great job. Okay. Remember you asked me about these guys? Yeah. Well, throw, throw them, them in, in there. there. Sure. Okay. We don't waste anything. Now, okay. I'm going to set the bird this way, okay, Tim? All right. While you wash your hands, what I do here is I stick my hand underneath the skin and make a pocket. Now, you could also go around the leg. And this is the great part about the bird is that we're going to stuff it with a little bit of margarine and fresh herbs. Okay, Tim? All right. There. I got me some pockets made. Beautiful. I got some margarine here. Okay. You know, there's people always ask me, well, what's better, margarine or butter? And the reality is you want to use uh, small amounts. Way. And, you know, in this case, go by what the recipe says. Uh, sometimes you get a little generous with that margarine. But, but we've, got it, uh, we've got your nutritional all worked out if you use the... The well, amount of margarine what, on the recipe. Yeah, and the recipe calls for a 12-pound bird, and we got a 24-pounder. We 20, <laughs> yeah. So, so we're going we're gonna to have a lot of good turkey. Yes, we're going to have a lot of good turkey. So. But, the, but the question is, is, is margarine or uh, butter better? And the answer is uh, use it's a, a small one, amount man. of both. Yeah, because margarine has trans fat, butter has cholesterol. And both of them increase our risk of heart disease. So Use uh, little. Yeah. And I'm not really putting too much. You no. see that, Tim? Yeah. I yeah. just want to make sure it spreads out, you know, just kind of yeah. make, make sure it's soft. And, and, and the traditional way, you know, you would take a bird and the traditional recipe, like if you were looking at Julia Childs or something, uh, she would have basted the bird every 30 minutes as it's cooking. But the problem with that is, is all that butter runs off into the pan, whereas what you've taught us to do makes the breast meat very moist. Exactly. It goes through the meat. It melts into the yeah. meat, yeah. Let me wash my hands there, Tim. Okay. And so this question of butter or margarine, uh, you know, trans fat is basically shortening, okay? Shortening clogs our blood vessels, in some cases worse than cholesterol. So we've we've had to pull back from saying margarine instead of butter. We've had to this we've 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 had to say rather use small amounts of either. Okay, so what's next? Now you're gonna even even though I have wear gloves, I still wash my hands. You know, yeah. it's just a habit. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. you never know what you're gonna be touching or whatnot. So okay, now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the fresh herbs. Ooh, the fresh okay. herbs consist of some sage. Yep. You know that's traditional. Yep sage dressing and stuff, so I, I, I like the flavor of it. And we're going to use some fresh thyme. Well, and you know, I always grew up learning that 
be careful about sage because it's got a strong flavor, but I've noticed that when you use this fresh sage, it's a lot more forgiving. You can use more. You can use more. Uh, when you usually, well, usually when you use dry, you would want to cut cut it to half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. So and you I got some fresh, nice sage here, Tim. And that's easy to remember because the dried uh, uh, herbs, the flavor is more concentrated. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stuff it in the bird, okay? Okay. So all that flavor is just gonna seep mm. through the meat, okay? You know what just I spread love? It, spread the wealth. You know what I love about Thanksgiving? What's this? I like waking up Thanksgiving morning and we've put the, the turkey in to finish roasting uh, wee hours of the morning. And when you wake up, it's browning and the whole house smells like roasted turkey. You know, we usually, see, you celebrate uh, Thanksgiving during like lunchtime early, right? Uh, well, uh, lunch to mid-afternoon, yeah. Okay. Yeah. For yeah. us, it's more like dinner, so... So y'all, your tradition is to do Thanksgiving dinner, evening. Dinner. Evening, yeah. Because yeah. So, yeah. everybody's always doing something, you know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. we want to make sure that everybody's there. That's what Thanksgiving's all about, right? So you have appetizers before your... Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. We yeah. have a good time, so we, yeah. we just want to make sure everybody's there. Okay, so i got plenty of, of sage, and if you have a few left, why not throw it in here? Just put it in here, okay. You know what I mean? Okay, okay so we good. got that done. Then we add a little bit of thyme, fresh okay. thyme. You know, you you just never have enough time. Do we you? just never have enough time. Yeah. So we're just gonna again stuff it, spread the wealth. And you know, this time really makes the turkey. It it brings out a wonderful flavor in turkey. I got some extra one here. Okay, Tim. It almost makes it like this is what makes the turkey flavor. It's what reminds us of turkey flavor almost. And. That, that Again, tiny, always spread the wealth. That fresh herb. You know, if you, if you have dried uh, herbs, you can use them, but you're not going to get the flavor and the aroma that you get from these fresh herbs. And if you don't mind, Tim, can you sprinkle yep. a little bit of yep. black pepper around it? Makes him pretty. Yeah, and it, guess what? It's ready for the oven. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Now, right. now uh, before we stick this, before we put this bird in the oven, we're going to find the thickest part of the muscle to stick that meat thermometer in, uh, and then we're going to get him in the oven. All okay. right. Okay, you ready? Yeah, it's heavy. It is. It is one big it, bird. It is a big bird. All right. Let's let's do this uh, vegetable quinoa pilaf. Okay. Here's the ingredients. I got some red bell peppers. I got some carrots, some uh, parsley, some cilantro, some green onions, mm. garlic. All yeah, right. That sounds so, good. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, start right. with your oil. We're going to put a little bit. Okay. All right, beautiful. So then we're going to go ahead and add our bell peppers. Yeah. We're going to add our carrots. We're going to add our green onions. We're going to let it sweat for just a few minutes, okay, Tim? Ooh, okay. You know, people don't know uh, quinoa in this part of the world. And quinoa is an ancient grain that comes from the Inca Indians in South America. Uh, quinoa is beginning to take off in, uh, in this country and around the world. Uh, and what's unique about quinoa is, is, as a grain, it's a very good source of protein, high in protein. Most grains are not a complete protein. You have to combine them with legumes to get all your essential amino acids. But quinoa uh, is a complete protein. In fact, NASA is considering using quinoa as part of their long-duration uh, human flight uh, program. Well, that's a, good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, it, and, you know, it's almost like dirty rice, but this one has like a little nuttier. Yes. Right? Am I yeah. right or wrong? It's just a little nuttier, so I like that. It's really well, nice. And, you know, we're, we're, we're introducing a new food, but we wanted to do this in a familiar recipe like a rice pilaf. So, basically, quinoa cooks just like rice. Uh, and people know rice pilaf goes great with a turkey dinner. And okay, we're going to add a little bit of garlic right now, Tim. Yep. Okay. Garlic doesn't hurt because you got, you're going to get flavor to it. And it's it good for your good heart. right now, it yeah. It sure does. Beautiful. So I got some vegetable broth here. Okay. So we're going to use low sodium low vegetable sodium broth vegetable like broth. you see us use all the time. I'm just going to stir this down because it's settled in the bottom. Okay. And that low sodium on that vegetable broth is a key ingredient. May, okay, it's a key got, label on that. Okay, so Chef Manny, tell us how we're going to cook this quinoa. Well, quinoa cooks just like rice, two to one. Okay. All right. All right. Now, the box right here, this one right here is pre-washed. So, okay. but what, if you do get the the natural and that's, just out of, make sure you wash it really, really good. Okay. Yeah. That's and that's very important, important because there actually is a coating on this that 
is is waxy tasting. Yeah. And so, so and so how do you a, wash it? Just run it on a calendar and just kind of let calendar, the water yeah. run. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Or you could use cheesecloth. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great if everybody's got cheesecloth. So we're gonna do like half a cup, okay? Because we want to enjoy this, okay, Tim? Yeah. So it's like one. Uh, it's what'd you tell me? It's two to one. Two to one. Liquid, two to one. just like rice. Just like rice. You exactly want this like in rice. here? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, put that. Okay. Now let me mix that really good. Let's cook this up just a little bit, okay? Okay. Bring in all those pretty flavors, all right? Yeah. Let me have the cup because we're gonna okay. measure it. Just, oh, I, got I always do that. You know, you don't want to overcook, so we just say half a cup here. And rice is rice and quinoa is one of those things that you do measure. You do measure it because if it says two to one, that's what it means. It's two to one. Yeah. And and if you're doing it for the first time, you'll know. Maybe mm -hmm. you maybe mm -hmm. your te your texture, your taste would be a little bit more or a little less. Yeah. How is that, Tim? Yep. So now we're gonna bring it to a boil and then we're gonna lower it down and let it simmer. Okay. All right. Beautiful. How about we check that turkey? Okay. Let's do. Let me get my rags here because that is gonna be hot. Oh, he is looking Ooh, really yeah. good, Chef Manny. Look okay. at that. Get this guy awesome. out of here. Okay, now the turkey Ooh, ah. has browned very well, but he's not done on the inside, and we know that because the thermometer is not at 180 degrees. So No, we still have a few more to go. And so what you want to do is, is you want to tint some foil over him. Yeah, I mean, it depends. You know, here's the deal. We like it. This is the ideal color yes, for us, right? Yes. You can ask for a little darker or a little lighter, but just keep an eye on it. So now we're just going to cover this bird. Yeah. I got a couple of pieces there, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Can I do this another way? Yeah, sure. Whatever okay. you like. I want to. I want to do it this way. Okay. You know how it. dietitians are. They got to do things a certain way. No, you're, as long as you cover the bird, we're good, Tim. <laughs> Here's another piece. He's very patient with me. <laughs> and all you're doing here is you just don't want him to brown anymore. Okay. We're ready for that blueberry relish. Okay. This is going to be exciting. Let me right. get the bowl right here. I got a yep. nice little bowl. Perfect. Okay. Now, the recipe calls for uh, ro uh, blueberries fresh or frozen because yep. we can still can use, use it either, you know, either way. Yep. Some dried cranberry, a little balsamic vinegar, a little bit of uh, nuts. Yep, pecans. Pecans. Yep. And if you, yep. if you don't mind, go ahead put that. Okay, a little diced tomato. Some pecans. I'll dice the tomatoes real quick while... Uh, so what are you doing that? My recipe, so it's uh, it's actually two thirds of a cup. So we're going to estimate that. Of course, you would want to measure this if you were at home. We're just showing you. And then uh, you want your blueberries. You got some beautiful blueberries. Yeah. And they're already been rinsed too. So you've already rinsed them. Yep, okay. I sure did. All right. And this is two thirds of a cup of blueberries. I'm, I'm kind of just. How's that look? And blueberries are blueberries, right? you know. Yeah, that'd be good. You know, blueberries actually have gained a lot of, of uh, attention recently for their antioxidant content. Okay, and then we've got uh, some some uh, dried cranberries. Yep. Okay, same amount. About, same amount. About two thirds of a cup, equal cranberries and blueberries. Now, tell me, if you're a blueberry like yourself, you love yeah. blueberries. Yeah. Adding a little extra blueberry does not hurt. Well, no. In fact, what's neat about this recipe is every ingredient, every ingredient in this recipe contributes something to our health. Which is fresh. It's fresh ingredients, There's, except for the dried cranberry, but they are fresh. Actually, even the cranberries, any berry, uh, this is a, a concentrated source of antioxidants. This is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to add the tomatoes, right, Tim? Yep. Yep. And then we've got our, we need a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Now, this is a part that you need to add because I, I, I don't feel I'm good with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So balsamic vinegar, you want uh, mint and your cilantro. Okay. And I'll tell you what. Can I stir? You sure can. I'm good at stirring. You got something there? I got you a spatula right here, Tim. Okay. We're here. Here. This will work. This will work. All right. You got that? Okay. Yeah. And then I got the fresh mint. There's yeah. nothing better than fresh mint. Mm -hmm. You know, you can grow mint so easily, but if you grow it in your herb garden, uh, put it in a pot because mint will take over. Oh, trust me. It grows real easy. Okay, and so, so you got... Good. And, you know, when you use fresh herbs like this, as you're breaking that herb, I can smell... They're aromatic. I can smell the mint. And, and that aromatic nature of that plant is one of the things that contributes... Uh, healthy antioxidants. And that's one of the reasons that we say the fresh herbs uh, have as much as seven times the antioxidant uh, activity as their dried counterparts. So it's a real reason to use uh, fresh herbs. But of course, the reason Chef Manny uses them is because they just taste so much They better. taste so good. Mm -hmm. It smells good too. It really does. 
It's strong. This one is a strong smells, which is means good. And here's your cilantro. This I don't like cilantro though, Tim. But yeah, yeah. You know me. Well, but you know cilantro. I'll cook with it, but I just uh, for some reason I just don't like the smell or well, taste. Well, and there are you know some that? people. You know, cilantro has a very pungent uh, flavor, and there are just some people that don't like it. You could use parsley. But you remember when we were talking about this recipe, I said, well, do you want to use this? Because I knew you didn't like it. And you said, no, it, it goes with these flavors. Yeah, and, and, and that's, I mean, it's good. Just because yeah. I don't like it doesn't mean I won't put it, right? Yeah. yeah. And there's some, you know, I had a friend, I had one of the, my sous chefs, actually did not like the smell of mint. Could not stand the smell. So even you even use... your toothpaste or whatever, yeah. it's just one of, yeah. I'm with cilantro. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things. Okay. But, of course, we'll put it on there. Because the recipe calls for cilantro, and a lot of people do like it. Well, and some people like it more than others. You know what I mean? I, well, I, and and all of our recipes on Memorial Cooking Innovations uh, meet healthy guidelines. Now, these are not. Uh, now, this particular recipe, as you said, comes from a Sodexo. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Yeah, this particular recipe comes from a, a Sodexo recipe that we use. And of course, you know, Sodexo provides our food service here at Memorial. That's why everybody's always raving about the food here at the hospital. But uh, in most cases, our recipes, we take a traditional recipe and then Chef Manny and I literally develop this recipe to, to be what you see on the show. And in this case, we, we pretty much followed the Sodexo recipe on this one because it was so good. Let me tell you a little quick little thing. Yeah. Jackie and Evelini yes. love cilantro. Oh, yeah. And I mean, sometimes we have to have it, you know, yeah, just because right. it goes with the meal. So. That's right. That's right. You know, now we're going to do our vinaigrette. Okay. okay, we're so going to do the little asparagus. So this, is, so this is the orange vinaigrette that you're going to dress the asparagus with. All right. That's it. Okay. Recipe calls for a little bit of mustard. Mustard, good. So we're going to go ahead and put Flavorful it. Flavorful agent. Flavorful. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put some in there. How about a little honey? A little honey, honey. Okay. You're calling me honey? Yeah, I better not call you honey. No. There My we go. wife would get that. jealous. Oh, man. I'm telling you. There okay. you go, Tim. All right. We're going to mix that well. So you've got a tart and a sweet here. Okay. I'm gonna leave a spoon there, okay? Yeah. A little black pepper. Yeah. And if it's a vinaigrette, you you have to have vinegar, huh? And then, yep. And then you, a you little. You want him in there now, or yeah? No? Put no. a little. We'll pour a little here, bit because we could always spoon. add a little bit more, okay, Tim? Yep. Oh, you could always add a little bit more. And this is your orange juice. Now you want this whole orange juice in yeah. there, huh? Yeah. That's a quarter cup. Okay. That looks. Good. Okay. Quick suggestion. Right. Yep. Mmm, smells good. It does. Okay, let me taste, taste it. it. All right. See if I need a little more mustard or a little, you know what I mean? Okay, I taste mustard, I taste honey, I taste orange, I taste pepper. That's, That's it. it. Okay. How about the balsamic? I, I didn't actually taste the balsamic. Okay, so we'll add a little bit more. I got yep. a spoon right yep. here. Okay. So that's all we're missing, just a little bit. That's that, and that's what we all should do: taste that's, as you go along. That's just what I was going to tell our audience. This is something that Chef Manny has taught me: is what you what you've taught me is is you're tasting for every ingredient, and that's when you know you have balance. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't overpower it. Yeah. Okay? And, so. and, and this is precisely the reason why we don't want to use too much salt. It's such a strong flavor. Now, in this case, you didn't use any. I didn't use any but because the balsamic has it. You well, know, the, the mustard has mustard a little has bit of sodium too. in it. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually, uh, uh, that's part of the problem with our cooking today is there's so much salt in everything is we've lost our balance in flavors. Exactly. You want to mm -hmm. taste everything. Mm -hmm. So i okay. got some beautiful asparagus. It's beautiful. And, you know, we can also buy them frozen. If you buy them frozen, you won't have to go through the blanching or nope. the steaming. Don't want to cook it as you long. You don't want to cook it as long. Yeah. Exactly. Make the dressing just uh, the, or the, um, the vinaigrette. vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but okay. here we got some fresh. So we're going to cut this. We can always save. If, you, if you're doing a party for 20 people or 30, yeah. save it. You can always make a soup out of this. You okay. know what I mean? Vegetable so broth good. or a soup. You have enough. Yeah. yeah. You know? Okay. Okay. So Those are the woody stems. They're tough. They're tough, yeah. Mm -hmm. they're, they're good for soups, but yeah. they're tough. So we got some beautiful asparagus. Okay. You want some water in there? I sure do, if you don't okay. mind. Some hot water. 
Now, steaming means to put, we can put a rack, yes. if you have one, yeah. put a rack on top and let all that steam come up and cook it. Yes, okay. Blenching would be to, for us to drop it in hot water. Okay, so you're actually putting the asparagus in the Putting the asparagus in, the in hot water. Okay. So you could do this recipe either way. Either way. Yeah. Either way. Now, so. now, steaming might take a little bit longer than blanching, huh? Yes, okay. but blanching, you have to pull it out and then kind of cool it down a little bit because it keeps cooking. Okay. 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 So it's either way, but we're going to go ahead and blanch it here. We're yeah. going to cover it up. Beautiful. Okay. okay. They're looking nice and pretty. We're going to squeeze a little lemon. There's two ways of doing this. And okay. the reason why we're doing a little lemon juice mm -hmm. is to keep it nice and green, right? Keeps it green, and it adds a nice zesty flavor. Yeah, and it doesn't hurt. Or we can take them out, cool them off real quick, yeah. you know, because you want yeah. that crispiness and, yeah. and green, you know, flavor, yeah. color to it. So smells good. we're going to do this. It does smell good. So mm -hmm. if you don't mind, I am going to go take the water out. You know, asparagus is a good accompaniment to this meal because, you know, turkey is a mild flavor. Asparagus is a mild flavor. The turkey has citrus in it. The, the asparagus has citrus, so you're complementing the meal with this asparagus. I'm and, back. And you know, asparagus is a healthy thing to eat. It's high in... Oh, it's wonderful. It's low in sodium, yet high in potassium. And what's that do for our blood pressure? Makes it lower. Excellent. Right. So here's the... Oh, this is going to be good. Mm. So we're going to go drizzle some of this, okay. and that's going to give it some flavor, okay? Oh, it's wonderful. So we're going to leave that to the side. We're going to lower the fire. We're going to bring it down. Okay. okay, we're just going to let, because it's hot, it's going to mm -hmm. absorb all that flavor, that flavor that we got in there. Of the vinaigrette, okay. All right, so we're going to leave it there. All right. Let's check on our turkey. Okay. Is he getting oh, there? Beautiful. Go ahead. Hold on. What do you see there, Tim? Uh, I see 180 degrees. He's oh, ready. Oh, he's ready. Yeah, he's Ooh. ready. Okay, so let's get him wonderful. out of there. Yeah. Okay, how's the, oh man, that looks good. Let me start yep. it one more time. Yep. Oh, it's looking really good. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a good Thanksgiving. Oh, it's going to be a great. All right. So today we've shown some examples of how to maintain a holiday tradition, but yet also introducing something different. And you know you've got a success when at, at, during, the, during the feast people are talking about, whoa, I've never had quinoa before. What a neat idea. Okay, and this roasted turkey with blueberry uh, relish, you know, this is one of those recipes that could be the talk of the family. And in fact, this could become part of someone's tradition. I believe you. The delicate flavor of this asparagus is a perfect accompaniment to go with a, a mild citrus turkey. You know, some people... Maybe asparagus isn't part of their Thanksgiving tradition, but it goes very well. But I'll with tell you this what, dish. they will enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this smells so good. Can't wait to taste this. We, uh, we want to thank you for joining us for this holiday edition of Memorial Cooking Innovations. Uh, we'd also like to thank uh, Brookshire's uh, uh, Celebration of Food and Community for uh, sponsoring Memorial Cooking Innovations. We'd like to thank Sodexo Food Service and uh, the Polk Center for uh, uh, hosting the show. Also, we want to thank uh, our friends at the city of Lufkin for uh, filming and distributing Memorial oh, Cooking Innovations. And they're going to enjoy this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. This is good. Look how nice and tender. It, oh, this oh, is It's beautiful. juicy. It's not as dry. Mm. And, and This one's for Randy, okay? Okay, yeah. Randy, you're going to love this. And so, uh, also, we want to thank you uh, our friends and okay. Well, I want to see how you before we thank everybody and say goodbye. <laughs> let's just see. Let's just see how this comes. Look at this. Out. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. It's gonna give it that flavor, mm -hmm. and we're gonna drizzle some of that juice. Okay. Oh, wonderful. I want to put that right there, Randy. This one's yours. And from Memorial Cooking Innovations, we want to say. Happy holidays. Happy We're, holidays to you all. We're changing the world one, one bite, bite at, at a time. time.